and then metric because we will involve metric unit it's something like meter kilogram second all right and then end scale the first thing end scale it's endpoint scaling of relative permeabilities and capillary pressure okay so the modeling or the calculation for the relative permeability and capillary pressure we will use endpoint scaling for the scaling technique all right so that's end scale and then nodir nodir here means non-directional endpoint scale and reverse means reversible okay and then demands 61 97 22 they are the numbers of grid blocks in x direction y direction and z direction okay so the total grid blocks will be 61 multiplied by 97 multiplied by 22 which which is let me calculate using my calculator 61 97 22 it will be 130000 174 all right and then tap dims it's quite a lot 2 1 20 20 9 20 1 star 6 4 star 1 and slash okay you can follow me the first number it's actually saturation function region so we will involve two saturation function regions later on when we go back to the simulation it will be clearer okay and second number only one is the pvt region so we will only involve one pvt region there is no other region with different pvt and then 20 it's saturation nodes in the table so if you have table there will be 20 values okay that's good and then 20 again it's for the pressure node in pvt table okay you don't want the values to be yeah just only five values but you don't want to you also don't want the values to be too many 100 values in the table okay it will be very very crowded so 20 it's optimum number and then the fifth number nine it's actually fluid in place region and then 20 again sixth number it's nodes of oil vaporization in pvt table okay and then one star it means notes of oil and gas ratio in PVT table will be based on default. Okay, will be based on default. And the default value, yeah, if you want to know the default value, you need to go to the manual. Unfortunately, in this in this video, I will I will not be able to to show the manual. Okay. So if you have T Navigator with you, you can read the manual, okay? But hopefully this video will make it simpler for you. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth number is saturation endpoint versus temperature table, six. And then it's eight and then four star. It means that the number 9, 10, 11, and 12, they are four, right? Four, four, four numbers will be based on the default values as per the manual. Okay? So that's what it means by star. Okay? And then one rock table for the last number. And then, of course, we close with slash. And then rec dims. It's number of regions with different parameter values. Okay. And then we have four values. The first one is fluid in place regions. It's nine. 
you can compare it with tab dims, the fifth value, the fifth number, which is again fluid in place regions. And then the second number in rec dims, it's families of user defined fluid in place region. And then two zeros, the first, the, the third value is independent independent reservoir region. There is no, there is no independent reservoir region, and there is no defined flux region in our simulation because we have two zeros here. And then well dims, it's dimensions for well data. We have five or four values here. The first one, 269, is the maximum number of wells. It's actually not that necessary to use or to put exactly 269, OK? 53, maximum number of connections. 210 well groups, maximum number of well groups. And 17, maximum number of wells in one group in each group and then equal eql dims it's the dimension for equilibration tables okay equilibration is very very important for the simulation so hopefully later on we will go back to this equilibration table and we have five values the first value is the number of equilibration region we only have two two equilibration regions and then 100 is the number of depth nodes in table pressure versus depth. And then the third number, 20, is the maximum number of depth nodes in any table RSVD. Okay, RS versus depth. Okay. I think it's very important if we can look at the simulation, the interface. But yeah, I will, I will focus on the script for this particular video. Let's hope or let's be patient until we go back to the user interface. And then the fourth, we have maximum number of tables of initial tracer concentration versus step. Let's use one, okay. And then fifth, the maximum number of lines in table of initial tracer concentration versus step. Let's use 20, okay? And then the acudims, it's a dimension for the aquifer. We have four zeros. The first one is maximum number of lines of numerical aquifer data. We don't need that, put zero. And then second one, maximum number of lines of connection data for numerical aquifers, again, zero maximum number of influence tables for Carter Tracy aquifer use zero and the fourth number fourth value is maximum number of rows in a Carter Tracy aquifer influence table it's not relevant put zero and the fifth number is maximum number of analytic aquifer in the model let's use three maximum number of analytical aquifer okay if any and then, wow, 36,198, it's the maximum number of grid blocks connected to any single analytical aquifer, okay? We are talking about number of grid blocks, so it's not surprising if we find a huge number like this. All right, and then VFP dims, VFPP dims. It's the dimension for the VFP, VFP table for producer. So VFP vertical flow profile, I think. And then P for the producer and DIMS for the dimension. We have six values. The first one, 60 is the maximum number of flow values in each table. Second one is the maximum number of tubing head pressure, THP, in each table. It's good. We have 16 numbers maximum. It's a maximum, by the way. It's not you have to put 60 value. No, 
it's just the maximum number. And then the maximum number of water fraction, something like water cut in each table. And then maximum number of gas fraction in each table, we use one because yeah, we inject purely in gaseous phase or supercritical in this case. So the gas fraction, there will be only one value, single value. And the fifth number, it's the maximum number of artificial leaf quantities in each table. Okay. And maximum number of VFP tables for producer. 100 VFP tables. So it's like maybe you, you can create 100 scenarios for each producer. Okay. And then grid ops. 